Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have we got Tony Yayo on getting 50 out his contract. Pooh Shiesty wanted by the fuzz. What the interwebs has to say about Tory's charges. Cardi B on your boy and offset on Cardi. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, you see that subscribe button right over there? Well, it ain't gonna touch itself. Go on and give it a tap. And since you wanna tap and move, hit the bell icon so you can get the heads up when we drop this heat. You like, yo, I think I might like it here. Well, that's what the like button is for. Go on and touch that too. So you two can pat us on the back a bit. Yo, it'll be a good deed for the day. Now, first on deck is Tony Yayo, who was credited by record exec Eric Nix as part of the reason 50 got out of his early contract with Violator Records and signed on with Eminem, Dr. Dre, and Aftermath. You thought your boy just walked away, huh? Well, not according to Nix. Yo, during the interview with fellow exec James Cruz, Nick stated that, quote, we go into Todd Moskowitz, uh, general manager of Violator's office. Moskowitz is the uh, currently the CEO of Alamo Records and the manager of Gucci Mane. And he continued on to say, it was Tony Yayo, Fifth, me, Chris Lighty, and Todd. We like, yo, we got to get out of this record deal because Eminem want to sign us to Aftermath. Todd's like, yo, I don't give a what. That's not happening. Now, Nick remembers. He says, I swear to God, the Ninja Yayo puts his gat on the table, but his gun on the table, not pointing at him and says, we got to get out of this deal. The Ninja Todd Moskowitz runs out the office yelling, I don't come to work for guys to pull guns out on me. Close quote, Jewish guy, Jewish lawyer. He ain't about that life. Close quote. Yeah, he ain't about that life. I'm, I'm sure he ain't. I mean, maybe it's me, right? But I didn't know slamming guns on the table was standard practice for business negotiations. Anyhow, according to that, he got out the deal and the rest is history. <laughs> Doesn't it bring a tear to your eye? No? Well, check this one out. Gucci Mane's 1017 artist, Pooh Shiesty, is on the run from the popo. In Miami-Dade County, Florida, two people got clapped and were taken to the hospital. Now, officials stated that he was involved in a drug deal and expensive sneakers deal that went bad. They're also looking for the green McLaren they said he arrived in. Now, the two victims were not even from the area, and now even they are looking for Pooh Shiesty in connection with the shooting. Now, the green McLaren sports car happens to be the same car that appeared to ha uh, he, he appeared to have in one of his Instagram videos. And I guess the funniest part of that situation is the fact that the two victims, even I know, are now looking for your boy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yo, we reported to you the insanity, right? That Tory Lanez is being charged for officially busting at Megan V. Stallion. And not busting in a good way, neither. Now, Tory issued a response to the charges, but the internet, as you knew, had no mercy for your boy. Social media took aim at your boy's height, and it was not pretty. <laughs> Hip Hop Memes Daily showed an image of how the relationship started with Tory behind Megan and how the relationship ends with Tory getting hemmed up in the big house. I'm pretty sure I saw that, saw that episode of, um, what's it called? Uh, is it locked up? I forgot what the name, what the show is called, man. But when you know when they when they take the little kids to the to the to the to the prisons and let them and let them do like a a, a test run of what it's gonna be like if they get locked up. It's a beautiful show, beautiful show. You gotta see, it. you gotta see it. I'm pretty sure I saw that episode though. Anyway, uh, the same site had a meme of Tory trying to escape back to Canada, but the video is of a police officer chasing a small person. Or, or what are we supposed to call them? Dwarves? A, a little people? I don't know, right? They're just chasing the, the little man down the street. The man runs back and forth, even climbs uh, a telephone pole. It's, it's crazy, because I didn't even know you can climb it like that. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Along with another image of a toy Tonka police car with the caption, cops on their way to pick up Tori, which is just wrong. I mean, didn't he correct it or something like that and say he was like five foot seven? I mean, why are they still getting at this man about his height? What if he is five foot two? So what? What is that? What Like, why is that horrible? You like celeb. What are you, five foot two? Don't, don't, don't come at me. You, you follow what I'm saying? Don't do it. Okay? Whatever. Cardi B is deeply involved in all issues involving the presidential election. 
Now, apparently she watched the debate involving Kamala Harris and Mike Pence and got a tad frustrated. Yo, take a look. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you, Vice President. Can you stop talking now? Thank you, Vice President. That nigga still talking. I'm gonna get still talking. That shit got me mad. Bitch, why you ain't saying nothing? Who the hell's ordering Pizza Hut at a time like this? It's one in the afternoon. What up? Can you imagine what election night is going to sound like in her house if the circus continues? you like, man, I don't want to know. And finally, Offset has found himself on the gram trying to figure out the proper hair color to select when someone came through in the comment section and started fishing around talking about he looked stressed out. Now, your boy came back in the comment section talking about, quote, I am. I miss Mrs. Wap. Call her for me, but on private close quote letting the world know that he still has love for his estranged wife and is willing to work something out <laughs> now now you know where your boy celeb source stands right on, on this particular issue which is we always are down for family yeah you might argue a bit but i mean you know what i'm saying just close your mouth and keep it moving i mean what's so complicated about that folks last time i said that folks try to get on me oh oh so kids can witness witness folks arguing all the time yo shut up simple right ain't it's not complicated close your mouth and keep it moving hey yo cardi we know you listen hit us up and let us know <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you need us to be a go-between you know how we get down Yo, do you know how many people's lives have been enhanced due to our presence? That That's the pattern of our existence. We raise the level of folks' lifestyle. You follow what I'm saying? We about building bridges. Yo, let us know what you think about this whole Cardi B and Offset situation. Also, if you have thoughts on the Tory Lane situation, make sure you post it down in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.